Hi, and welcome to this video on subforms. Subform, in simple terms, is a secondary form or table which is part of a primary form in Zoho CRM. The purpose of a subform is to enable you to associate multiple line items to a record. Now, what are these line items? Take the example of Zilker Inc., which sells mobile phones and accessories. Whenever a mobile phone is sold, the customer may order accessories along with it. For instance, one customer, Alice, may order a separate brand of earphones, mic, and a power bank along with her phone, while another customer, Matt, may order Bluetooth speakers and a mic as accessories with his primary purchase. Each accessory also has details such as rate, quantity, price, and so on. These entries of earphones, mic, and speakers are called line items. How do you associate these line items to the primary sale? Without subforms, you would have to create multiple fields such as accessory one, accessory two, and so on. This can get messy and cluttered, but with the help of subforms, it becomes a breeze to add multiple line items to a record. As you see here, this is the subform section on deals called mobile accessories. Here, let's add earphones, quantity, rate, discount, and other details. To add a new item, just click Add Row and start entering the details. As you can see, this is a secondary table or form that is part of the primary form. The primary record is still about the mobile phone, but you can merely add secondary details or line items to it in an organized manner using a subform. You can also see that the moment multiple entries are added, the system automatically sums up the total price. Here are some more examples of how subforms can be used in various other sectors. In case of a university student application form, while the main form will capture the student's personal details, the details of colleges studied in and previous work experience, if any, can be captured using subforms. Here, you can see the academic details and the details of previous companies as secondary forms. Similarly, when it comes to insurance, the applicant's personal details will be on the primary form, while the dependence details are part of the subform. Here, you can add dependent details of the applicant row after row. So, now let's go ahead and see how to create a subform using the mobile phone sales as an example. Go to Setup, Customization, Modules and Fields. From the list of modules here, let's select the Products module and the standard layout. Go to the layout editor, drag and drop the subform block from the new field section here. Let's name this subform subproducts, click on add field, and select a single line field here and call it name of the accessory. Let's add more fields such as vendor, rate, quantity, discount, and amount and add the necessary field types. Notice that vendor is a lookup field. When you add a lookup field, the fields associated to the lookup module will also be available for you to add in your subform. Your subform now has all of the accessory details. Now that your subform is ready, you would also want to calculate the total cost of all of the accessories. You can use the aggregate function for this. Click add aggregate field. You can choose one or many of the options to calculate the total amount, aggregate, formula, or new fields. By choosing aggregate, you can select from one of these default functions, sum, average, maximum, and minimum. Let's calculate the actual price of all of the products that are purchased. Since you want the total amount of the accessories, add an aggregate field, total amount, and you can apply sum as the aggregate value on the amount column. Next, let's use the formula tab to calculate tax on the total amount. If the tax is in percent of the total amount field, you can define this formula in the formula section here. Now, the formula function will automatically be executed on the total amount field. You can easily have your total payable price calculated automatically. However, there will be times when you pitch in and give a final discount or an adjustment to your customers. 
add another aggregate field called adjustments, where entries can be made manually on an ad hoc basis. You can select new field, choose the type of field you want, let's say currency, and add this as an aggregate field. Click done, and this is how your aggregate field will now look. In subforms, much like in a primary form, you can mark the fields that you want as mandatory, choose the permissions that you want to set for those fields, edit the setting of each field based on field type, and remove or delete the fields that you don't need. Once your subforms are fully functional, you can also generate reports based on them. For instance, you can create a report of each product and the total sum of the subproducts. There you go. This is how Subforms lets you associate multiple line items, calculate the total amount, and generate reports as well. Thank you for watching this video. For more resources on Zoho CRM, please visit www.zoho.com/crm/resources.